Andrew, can you elaborate on the regulation and legitimacy of the crypto arbitrage investment opportunity? So as of today, January 2021, the crypto space is largely unregulated, causing all sorts of concern for the likes of the FSCA, the Financial Service Conduct Authority, the South African Reserve Bank. You know, these guys are dealing with Ponzi schemes like Mirror Trading International and hundreds of scams, which are sadly commonplace in the pioneering environment like this. The South African Reserve Bank itself is trying to oversee the flight of cash, both on and off its balance sheet, while SARS, our revenue service, is trying to get all the taxes owed to them. We believe we've addressed these concerns, addressing all three state institutions as follows, unlike most of our peers in the crypto space. So, number one, both David and myself have been in the asset management industry for over 10 years, with backgrounds in hedge funds, adhering to very regulated environments, and meeting requirements of institutional and high net worth investors. We've built our businesses on those principles, and with that experience of mind, we've established two independent FSPs, CAT1 and CAT2. And this is monitored by the FSCA and allows us to provide advice and intermediary services and to manage money on a discretionary basis. We couldn't be more regulated from an FSCA standpoint and anticipate the imminent arrival of regulation, which we gladly welcome. Number two, after establishing Currency Hub and on the back of a fact sheet with over two years trading history, we then decided to go retail, but on one condition, that we approached the South African Reserve Bank with our authorized dealer and got legal opinion to legitimize our operations. We went live in mid-2020, comfortable in the fact that our process was understood by the regulator and our authorized dealers, and that they knew who we were, and that we were also supported by top legal minds in the Currency and Exchange Control Act. Number three, any South African profiting from cryptocurrencies has essentially triggered a tax event, income tax, and is therefore subject to this taxation. This has been a gray area, that the South African Revenue Service has recently expanded on their documentation and taxpayers now need to declare these profits. We work closely with professional tax consultants and legal counsel to ensure that our clients and our own operations and reporting standards are one step ahead to support the South African receiver and the growth in digital assets. The FSCA is working hard towards regulating this landscape, suggesting all crypto service providers will require financial services licenses to operate legitimately. Wow, that was so much information. Andrew, Dave, thank you so much for sharing all your insights with us today. Thank you very much, Ash. Thank you.